Hello, I'm Kenneth Squires, and I'd like to talk about a proper hand, body, and eye position uh, as you go through the pattern. And always, I look where I want to go. I never look where, well, it never works out good if you look where you don't want to go. So, I'm going to ride to the first barrel almost always. I'm going to have two hands going to the first barrel. I'm going to ride them and I'm going to look. I'm going to look where I want to run. But your eyes don't have to be planted on that spot. But it is good. And the, and the shorter your horse is, or the steadier your horse is, the further up the pen I look. Because your butt's going to sit down one jump before where your eyes are looking. So if you can, I try to just, my, it's just kind of an alleyway in my mind of where I want to go. And, and my eyes don't focus directly on this spot, but it's going in this vicinity. And then my feel for where my, how far my horse is, is running, how fast and how much I feel like they're, they're really going to get a hold of the ground on just how much I really sit down. But when I get up here and I sit down to turn, I'm probably going to go to the saddle horn. I'm going to do it every time. Not so much for staying on. It's for your balance. My weight is going to be slightly in the outside stirrup. And I'm going to ask them to come around. And I, I want my hand up. I'm going to basically, I want them to follow my hand. But they need, it's basically going to turn the top of the barrel. That's what I want. My hand does this. My hands are up. My eyes are up. When I leave that first barrel, I am looking directly in a straight line across here. Woo. Hey. And, and I want, and I'm going to sit down. And then I'm going to get my hands right up here. My, my weight will be slightly on, the, on my outside leg every time. I want that. To me, if your weight's on the inside, where are you going? Elbows down. Or, or if it's, and I'm not saying that there's no good hands in the world that ride with their weight on the inside, but their shoulders are square. They're not, they're, they're gonna, they may have to, their weight there, but their shoulders are square. That's how they balance. For me, it's here. But my shoulders, want, I want them square. I'm gonna practice like I would run. Then I can come back up here. I get my horse straight. I look where I wanna go. And then I can just ask my horse to turn. <laughs> it's all, I want my eyes looking where I want to go. Always know where the timer is. There's no use getting outrun because you pulled up right back here and the timer was over there. Go ahead and ride your horse out of the pen. If you cannot stop your horse, then go get a bigger bit. Because if he doesn't need it in this arena, that's fine. There's no good that's going to come of coming up that alley and not having control of your horse. When you ask him to leave, he leaves. So you can be looking because if he leaves before you do, where are you at? Right here. And, and, and if you're out over him, you've already got, you've got the balance of your horse is wrong. I want to be equally on the front and the back of my horse. I want his butt in the ground when my butt hits that saddle. But I don't, if you get way out over here and the taller you are, the worse that's a mistake. Because tall people take the run out of a horse getting over them. Short people can get by with it pretty well. Tall people, and Sherry Servey's like my finest example. She's tall, she doesn't take the run out of one, she sits square in the middle of them. And I, I like that. That's what anybody should achieve if they're, if they're gonna be tall and run barrels and ride balanced. It, Everything you do, that animal has to carry you doing it. And, and where your hands go, that animal has to go with your weight shift. If you're up in the middle and your horse handles like he should, and you look where you want to go and ride all the way in the hole, your horse is going to come around. Every horse is going to come around. Whoa. And practice it whether you're in the arena or you're out.
Everything you do matters to that animal. They don't know when you're not thinking on the clock. On, we know. They know, they're thinking every time we're thinking, here's, here's how we gotta do this. And, and if you're piddling around talking to your buddies or on the phone, and not paying attention to your horse and doing this and that, look, pretty soon you'll have some bad habits. I want this horse's head up. I want this horse to handle like so. And I want my eyes looking where I wanna go and my butt raising up out of that saddle. The main reason for the saddle horn is when I come around the barrel, well, it doesn't matter which way it is, to help my horse, I'm in the middle of him, I come around the barrel, I've got a hold to that horn, I'm leaving with my horse. That doesn't mean stand up back off over there. You stand up when you leave that barrel and you get up and you help them leave. You don't put pressure on the rein or any, then this didn't do anything but cost you time. You get up and you leave with them so that you're up here and they know when you get to the next turn and you get back down, it's time to stop and turn, it, whatever it is. And then when I get back up here, I'm gonna get up and ride. And I'm gonna look to the far end of this building before I even worry about stopping. I'm not gonna look at the timer. I'm looking to the far end of the building. And I hope that helps a little bit one of these days. Come see me and we'll talk about it.